guys! So I'm TJ Elena, welcome back. I hope you spent a beautiful week without school <laughs> and we are back, okay? So we are going to start unit four of natural science. As always, when we start a new unit, we speak about the two first pages of the unit that are the ones that you can see here. Do you see them? I'm like touching them with the with the arrow. So um, I'm going to start the unit with you, okay, to, to help you a bit because you have to do activities one, two, and four on this page. Okay, so I'm going to help you answer the questions because you might not remember everything from last year. The first thing you have to do is take your book. No, I'm not kidding, take your book, I wait. Do you have your book? Yes, fantastic. Okay, so now that you have your book, go to this page, page 52 and 53 of your book. No? You ready? Yes? Okay, so I continue. If you are not ready, pause the video and then you continue. Okay, so if you see in this picture, there is a super nice garden with many, many flowers and many plants. We are going to learn about plants, but what are we going to learn about the plants? Hmm. In this unit, we are going to learn the nutrition of the plants, what the plants eat, the respiration of the plants and the reproduction of the plants. Nutrition, respiration and reproduction. Three things, okay? The reproduction of the plants is a bit different from the animals and the humans, so be careful, but you already know this. We are also going to learn about the different types of plants. For the moment, for exercise one, that asks you about the different types of plants, you can um, say these three ones, okay? There are three important types of plants, grass, bush, and trees, okay? Grass, bushes, and trees. These are the three most important ones. Grass, that is here, that is little. Bush, that is a bit bigger. And trees that are big, okay? Those are the three most important ones. So in exercise one, you can say that three different types that you see in the picture are grass, bush, and tree, because if you see here, hmm, ah. If you see, actually in the picture, we can see a tree, another tree here, another tree here. Then we can see bushes that are these ones. This is a bush, this is a bush, this is a bush. And we can also see grass. We can see grass, hierba, bush, arbusto, and tree. I'm not going to translate tree because you already know what is a tree, okay? So those are the three types you can see. I'm an amazing teacher because I already gave you the answer for exercise one. Okay, let's continue. Okay, <clears throat> so the, uh, there are different types of plants, okay? These three types are different. These three types are, are very different, but they all have these parts, all of them. The grass and the trees are super different, but they both have roots, a stem, and leaves. If you see in these pictures, we both, in both we have roots, stem, that is this, stem is tallo, tallo, that in the, that in the trees is not a tallo, it's a tronco, but it's the same, okay? The stem, that is the central part, stem is tallo or tronco, and the leaves, okay? And then we have the flower. Look here. Some plants have flowers, not all plants have flowers, okay? All plants in the world have roots, stem, leaves, all of them, but not all of them have flowers, okay? So I'm an amazing teacher again because I gave you the answer for exercise too. Okay, so that's it. Remember, 
roots to stay in the ground and not fall like okay the stem to grow and to be like to keep the other parts together the stem the roots the stem and the leaves be careful leaf is written like this if it's singular and it's written leaves if it's plural be careful leaf leaves okay be careful with this so roots stem leaves three parts okay okay the last exercise exercise number four asks you what can you do to have a healthy garden i wrote some ideas here you can add more i know that you are going to keep to stay with these ones but if you add more i might give you an extra point in dojo so the one of the ideas that i gave you that i want to give you is a good amount of water remember amount cantidad like the amount of water in a river is the flow so a good amount of water is what a plant needs why because there are some plants that need little water like cactus and there are some plants that need a lot of water like the i don't know like the nenuphar for example okay so you have plants that need little water and plants that need a lot of water if you give a lot of water to a plant that doesn't need a lot of water it's going to drown se ahoga. and if you don't give enough water to a plant that needs a lot it dries se seca. so be careful a good amount of water the amount of water that the plant needs Another idea that you can use to have a healthy garden is a good amount of sun. Some plants need a lot of sun, like direct sun, and some like some sorry, some plants don't need a lot of sun. Okay? Some plants can grow inside the house, okay, and they don't need direct lights. Actually, if one plant that doesn't need direct light from the sun luz directa and you put it directly under the sun it burns se quema the leaves burn okay and it dies so be careful another idea be careful with insects please the insects they are actually the larvae of the insects and the insects themselves they eat the plants so be careful because if they eat your plants do you remember Marie Pilar? If you remember Marie Pilar, the caterpillar that I took to the school, you will, you will remember this. Marie Pilar ate plants. Actually, she ate one of the, my plants from my garden. So, okay. Another idea is to plant indigenous species. What are indigenous species, teacher? Like, you're saying silly things. This is the map of Spain. That might give you a hint. Indigenous species are plants that are from Spain or from Madrid or like from the, from Spain, Let, let's put it, from Spain. Because if you go, for example, to, well, now you go nowhere because nobody can travel, but imagine you travel to China and you find a super cool plant and you love it, you love the plant and you take the plant with you to Spain. And you plant it. That plant is dangerous because that plant can kill the other plants in your garden. Okay, the, they are called invasive species, especies invasoras. If you remember, we learned about the invasive species in, um, in the museum, in the Museo de Ciencias, right? They were animals, but it's the same. If you take an animal or a plant from another country to your country, that plant or that, ani that animal can kill the plants of, or the animals in your country. Okay, so another idea to have a healthy garden is to plant plants that are from your region, de tu región, no from another place. Okay? Those are some ideas. If you want to add more ideas to exercise four, the class dojo points are there for you. 
So think about it. You can look for them in the on the internet if you want. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Another thing that asks you in the exercise number four are what does the what do the plants need? What do they need to grow? Like they don't grow in the air. So they need soil, soil, tierra, they need water, they need wait, I'm going to move my head. Here I go. Um, they need soil, they need water, they need sun, they need minerals, not rocks. I didn't find a good picture of minerals, but they need minerals. And one more, I want you to write soil, water, sun, and minerals. And one more thing, look for it on the internet or do whatever you want, but look for one more thing, okay? This one, you can write only my ideas and that's it. But this one, you have to write my ideas and one more thing. Give me this. Okay. The last one, the last picture. We go again to the pages of your book. So you have to do exercise number one that says, look at the photo. Can you identify any different types of plants? Remember that we spoke about three different types of plants, grass, bush, tree. Those are the three types of plants. You can go back in the video and look for them again. Exercise number two says, what are the main parts of a plant? Do you know any of their functions? So what are the main parts of a plant? We know them already too. The roots, the stem, and the leaves. You can look up their functions in the picture of the sunflower. There was a picture of a sunflower, wait a moment, here. And here you have the functions, funciones, the functions. But in your book, you also have the functions of the parts of the plant, okay? Wait a moment, we go there again. Okay. And exercise number four says, what must you do to have a healthy garden like the one in the photo? I gave you some ideas. You can write my ideas and if you want, you can add more ideas. And then it says, what do plants need to grow? I gave you some ideas and you have to write one more thing that they need. What you must do to have a healthy garden and what the plants need is more or less the same, okay? But they are not exactly the same thing, okay? So that's it, okay? So welcome to unit four of natural science. Do the activities one, two, and four. And we continue tomorrow. Bye.